A uh, real ragtag bunch of rascals, sir. They all fit the description of the assailant. Mm, looks like a real loser convention in here, Korsky. Oh, yes. <laughs> Number one, could you please step forward and say the allotted line? Laugh. Laugh, I said. Laugh, I kill you. Thank you. Number one, please step back. Number two, step forward and say the line. Laugh. Laugh, I said. Laugh, I'll get out. Good, number two, very good. Step back, please. Number three, step forward and say the line. Uh, can't read. It's the same thing everyone else said. <laughs> I can't hear so good either. <laughs> say the goddamn line. <laughs> laugh. Laugh, I said. Laugh or I'll kill you. Thank you, number three. Please step back. Number four, step forward and say the line. <laughs> laugh or I'll kill you. In English, please. Excuse me? Just say the line, sir. Laugh. Laugh, I said. Laugh while I kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> Number four, please step forward and say the line. Number four? Number five! Oops. Listen here, fucker. <laughs> I object, okay? Listen. <laughs> You can't make us threaten the audience to laugh. They, they got to enjoy the show, right? I say they, they choose to laugh on their own terms. All right, all right. All you back to your frickin' selves, you no-gooders. God damn it. <laughs> Never gets any easier. I tell you, Korski, you sure do have a bunch of weirdos in this here lineup. Oh, yeah, you should see the next bunch. Wow, uh, what a way to go. I mean, getting shot while waiting in line to buy a gun? At a gun store? Yes. Then it has such poetic irony! Ryan so hollow! <laughs> Still, uh, taking those acting classes down at the Learning Annex? What? <laughs> do you think I'm getting any better? No. You gotta do less acting and more doing. You know what I mean? No, not not really. Yeah, and that's why you're taking classes at the Learning Annex. Where is this new hotshot detective anyways? I mean, he's 40 minutes late and all this blood. I'm getting so hungry. I mean, I just want to get home and eat a big slab of red meat. Yeah, you know, I heard this guy, he's kind of eccentric. Yeah, I heard that too. No, but I mean like super eccentric. Super eccentric? Mm. All right. <laughs> All right, fellas, what do we got? <laughs> Detective Fe Finnegan. Walt Finnegan, you are correct there, sir, but enough with the pleasantries. <laughs> and the corpse croak. Uh, he got shot. Ah, let out from a bullet, eh? Well, on a positive side, the poor bastard's substantial blood loss probably caused him to go out in his sleep. But still, this killer, he don't freak around. <laughs> Actually, sir, uh, he didn't have time to bleed to death because he was shot right between the eyes. Uh, I had a chance to actually examine the, the body before it was shuffled off to the morgue. Hey. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? You hear what? Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm getting readings of an enfeebler in the vicinity some ways. Oh my god, the readings here are off the charts! You must be the enfeebler! What the hell is an enfeebler, man? I'm oh, so glad you asked. <clears throat> it's somebody who doesn't respect their superiors while in front of others. Now, stop enfeebling me, you stupid enfeebler! <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> you didn't tell me you're an enfeebler! <laughs> 
For you see, gentlemen, even though I did not see the body, I know it did not succumb because of a mere bullet in the head. <laughs> well, how'd he die? Isn't it obvious? Your partner there did him in with a cattle stun gun and his own ingenuity. <laughs> what? He, he did? Yes. Slightly before arriving on the scene, I overheard the enfeebler say to you that he belittled your acting integrity. Oh, such belittling of the acting integrity! How he envied your theatrical training! Right away I knew he too was also an actor, but of the jealous variety. <laughs> oh, I could tell this was a person with a lot of pent-up aggression. What the hell are you talking about? You have pent-up <laughs> aggression, my dear boy. All right, okay? You got me. Okay. I'm an angry actor. How does that make me a friggin' murderer? <laughs> well, I overheard Phoebe the Enfeebler also <laughs> say that he wanted some red meat. Now, this got me nervous. An actor that's not a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this guy's conflicted. The kind of conflicted that could revert a guy to cannibalism. Oh, Jerry, really? <laughs> Yes. You see, our killer here would regularly take on method-type acting classes, part-time. But this was strange. Sometimes he'd pretend to be a mailman. Sometimes he'd pretend to be a butcher. And sometimes he'd even pretend to be a gun salesman. However, today, he snapped. And his customers stopped looking like actual people. And more like hamburgers with legs. <laughs> so when the last customer was in, he locked the door. Pulled out his cattle stun gun, which he got from his butcher jaw, put it up to John Joe's forehead, and released the pressure of the retractable bolt right into John Joe's forehead. Ugh! <laughs> and then, with the victim unconscious, he was free to drink up the lifeblood. The flu. <laughs> Damn you, Walt Finnegan! Yes. And I almost got away with it this time. Okay, come on. Come on. Hey, I'll put these on later. <laughs> <laughs> If there were limits to my misery, then in reason could I find my woes. Yeah, uh, keep it at the uh, learning annex, fuckwad. <laughs> <laughs> Make it cool.